Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2018 in Denver, Colorado, and I'm talking to Blaine Horner at the Precision Hawk booth. How you doing, Blaine? I'm doing well. Yourself? I'm doing real good. Thanks. Now, I was walking by your booth, and I must confess, my head was turned by this ginormous hexacopter you've got over here. What is the purpose of that machine? Because it looks amazing. So, designed specifically to meet FAA requirements to fly a drone beyond line of sight. Well, what's your power source on this drone? We needed a drone that could fly a long time and a long ways and carry a big sensor. So that operates a hybrid gas generator that pushing power into a central board that then powers the electric motors. And then what sort of payloads will this carry? So the system is built anticipating a 10 pound payload. We fly the Regal Minivux 1 LiDAR, which weighs about seven pounds. If we throw a second camera on that, it's pushing up to eight and a half. So we just kind of rounded to 10. So we started our 55 pound um, drone max for part 107, and then we just do the math backwards off that 10 pound payload. Now, the one thing which I must confess really got me interested was on the end of each of the motor limbs, there's this little ball sticking up on the end of a stick, and there's six of them, one on each limb. What are those for? In order to fly a drone beyond line of sight, you need a, the ability to detect and avoid aircraft. We were fortunate enough to have an opportunity to work with a company called SARA that does acoustic sensing. So each one of those is a small microphone that is ingesting sounds and listening for aircraft. Really? So it hears other aircraft? Yeah, so aircraft have a pretty specific acoustic signature. We ingest all the noise from the drone, program that out, and then we listen. When we hear a loud noise, we analyze that noise for certain signatures. And the aircraft acoustic signature, we identify, and we can get a bearing angle based on that. The bearing angle is, is pretty accurate, um, and it allows us to provide the pilot that information because he can't see the drone, but we can say, hey, there's an airplane to your east you know, at 10 kilometers out. Now, don't most airplanes have transponders which identify their location anyway? A lot of these smaller planes, crop dusters, small helicopters, things like that don't operate an ADSP transponder. So identifying those crafts, which are also the ones that are going to be more in the airspace we're talking, 400 feet and below, it's really key to the whole system. That, that's just an astonishing breakthrough. Well, well, best of luck with it and keep us posted as the project moves forward. You've, you've really got something special there. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Appreciate the time. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. And from Exponential 2018, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. Thanks, Ian.